It's said good things come in pairs, and our women's lacrosse team has quite the dynamic duo. Meet the Riley sisters. Hey guys, I'm Megan, and I am the older sister. Got her by a minute. Hello, I'm Kayla, and I'm the more athletic sister. Um, I beg to differ. <laughs> Regardless of the sport or occasion, these two have no shortage of competitiveness. When we were younger, I was always the guinea pig to try sports. I was the first one to try lacrosse. I There's a funny story when um, growing up I played goalie for soccer and our travel coach decided to put us in the game and split halves between Megan and I. And it was indoors, so it's a more, it's a smaller area, so it was really hard. And she cried the whole first half and I didn't, so I guess that's how I got picked to play goalie for soccer. Kayla is the favorite child. Um, I have an older sister and we always joke with my mom. Any chance we get, like when we're out at restaurants, my mom just happens to sit on the other side of the table with Kayla. I'm like, oh, you chose that side because Kayla's on that side. Or, there's so many examples I could give, but Kayla's definitely the favorite. Um, out of me and my older sister. <laughs> They're both record breakers in their positions, but do they think their sister would make it on the other side of the field? Definitely not. I mean, <laughs> she was a pretty good defender in basketball, so I feel like that would correlate, but I just feel like she's better on the attacking end, and I'm better on the defensive end for a reason. Jeez. She passes the ball to the goalie every time she tries to do it, so I don't think she'd be very good at it. But I don't think I could be good at defense at all. The Riley twins make a great team, and they knew playing together at the collegiate level could be a long shot. Until they met Campbell. It started out where they were just knew who I was on the field, and they didn't really know that there were two Rileys in club ball. So when we were getting recruited, I came down here and I was like, Coach, can I bring my sister? Like, we kind of want to go to school together, but it's okay if like she can't come because I know how it's like with coaches and stuff. So it was, yes, we did get recruited together and we were a package deal, but it didn't start like that. It's been a career of memories made together, and as their final season comes to a close, they have a chance to reflect on what it's been like to have their sister by their side. It's pretty exciting because through the rec days and all the experiences that I started with and she was like, no, I'm never playing that <laughs> sport. It's, it's crazy to see us that at our last games that we're standing next to the field together and walking out to the field together and doing everything together. So I think it's pretty special and I love it a lot, but it's, it's, something, it's something that no one else can do, I think. It's been a great experience here for the past four years. Um, I, don't, I can't imagine playing college across without her down on the other side of the field. So. It's going to be pretty sad, but at the same time, I think um, I've been so proud of her through these last couple, not just this year, but all four years. She's come such a long way on and off the field. And I think just like being proud of her and all like the accomplishments she's made, it's really good to know that we can both have it live on forever. I think I'll look back to the times like we were home at summer and over winter and all the like the tough times that I've pushed her to pass run tests and in the weight room and all this stuff. like. Because I was always the one to pass things first and then I would be out there 5 o'clock in the morning getting up for her and helping her pass all these tests. So I think the, um, the hard times that we've been through is really going to come into my mind. But at the same time, like all the, accompli all, all the accomplishments she's um, done through the field and the classroom and all that stuff. And then all the stuff that goes unseen and um, things that don't really get recognized when we're even on the field and stuff like that. So. I think every, everything comes to my mind, but I'm going to be so proud of her.